Hey guys, today we're going to talk about uh, how you can set up your company LinkedIn page um, for optimal success in about 30 minutes. Um, a lot of companies disregard their LinkedIn page and that's not a good idea. So let's get to it. Um, so to start, LinkedIn is unparalleled in its ability to connect professionals across a vast array of industries. Um, but for many small business owners, like I said, uh, LinkedIn represents a missed opportunity rather than an outlet for success. This is because running a small business often means that your time is at a premium and getting familiar with the site often drops to the bottom of your to-do list. Most business owners spend significantly more time working in the business as opposed to on the business. That's why we put together um, a list of five simple steps uh, to get your LinkedIn page up and running. Each one is a bite-sized task, easy and simple enough to complete over your lunch break. So grab your sandwich, uh, your can of LaCroix or whatever you're eating today and follow along as we get your company LinkedIn page set up for success. Just a note before we begin that um, this tutorial is about your LinkedIn company page, not your personal profile. Creating your company page for your business requires that you have a personal LinkedIn profile, which also only takes a few minutes to create. Uh, but if you don't know how, we'll add a link in the description here on how to do that. All right, first things first, we're gonna to wanna to build your company LinkedIn page. Um, so once you've created your personal LinkedIn page, uh, your first step is to build out your company's LinkedIn page. To do this, there's four steps. So from your main homepage, uh, move your cursor up to the top right, and there's a tab that will say work. Click on that. And then near the bottom of that menu, um, you will find a, an option called create a company page. You can click on that and then uh, you're going to want to select uh, the industry that your company is in. From there you're going to want to fill out your company details such as the company name, address, phone number, etc. Um, kind of the basic information and you can then click create page. After you've successfully set up your company LinkedIn page, you're going to want to optimize the content on it. So just like your company's main website, the content on your LinkedIn company page should be optimized for maximum visibility to users. Um, so here's a quick rundown on how to optimize your company LinkedIn page quickly and efficiently. So number one, uh, you're going to want to upload your company logo. LinkedIn's minimum and recommended image size is 300 by 300. Um, we recommend going as big as possible. Um, so make sure that you have a clear uh, image to do this with so that it's not blurry once you upload it. Uh, second thing is you're gonna wanna upload a high quality and engaging banner image. This is the image that is gonna be across the top of your profile. And LinkedIn recommends um, it be at least 1500 by 768. And it should also be very clean and simple without a lot going on. It's really an extension of your brand's identity and messaging. So ensure color scheme, typography, and copy are consistent with your comp uh, company's other marketing materials, which includes your website. Number three, use a keyword strategy when you're writing your about section. This will most likely mirror the same keywords you're using on your website. Uh, so look at your website's about uh, about us page for inspiration and this will help you um, uh, come up with the details for your LinkedIn page and will help you come up in LinkedIn's search results more often. Number four is if your market is primarily local, be sure to include your location in the uh, About Us description. Number five, be sure yeah, your company links to your website. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and you're gonna also wanna include your phone number and mailing address information. Number six is to make sure you're selecting the appropriate industry for your company page. Uh, this will help LinkedIn index your LinkedIn page for user searches. And finally, number seven is to select several hashtags that are relevant to your industry. Um, 
to follow, there will be an option within your bio where you can select relevant hashtags for your company and for your industry. So once you optimize your profile, you're going to want to um, find your audience on LinkedIn. Even with perfect optimization uh, that places your company page in all the right search results, you still need to proactively probe through LinkedIn and find your audience. So here are a few ways to find the right folks to connect with. The first way is through groups. LinkedIn groups are where users can go to interact. Individuals and companies can share content or engage in discussion within a group. Uh, so to find groups, simply click on the Work tab in the top right-hand corner. Uh, select Groups, or you can do a search on LinkedIn for indus uh, industry-relevant groups, and then you can join them from there. Uh, you can join them um, from both your personal or your company profile. Uh, the second way is through hashtags. So on the left-hand side of your screen, you will see a hashtag section. Uh, below it is a Discover More section. Um, if you click on that, it'll send you to a discovery page where you can browse all of the specific hashtags that are available to follow. Um, again, this will be useful once you start posting to your page. And then the last way is through individual people. So think about the various job titles held by people you want to engage with or possibly convert into a customer. For instance, here at Webfeed Complete, we tend to deal with marketing managers, sales managers, um, or owners. So perform a keyword search for these job titles and take a look at the results. So what groups have they joined? What topics are they following? Um, in which case, you should do the same. So after we've set up our uh, profile and we found our audience, we're going to want it to engage with team members and customers. Uh, so while it, it is up to you um, or your superior whether or not to require team members to join LinkedIn, you should at least make sure that those who do maintain uh, LinkedIn profiles have listed your company and their work experience and have followed your company page. Be sure to connect with all of your coworkers as well. Uh, once you get to the point where you're starting to post your content, um, your employees will serve as a free and organic way to spread your company page uh, into their networks. While you're at it, start mining your customer and contacts lists and start making connections if you have not already done so. When you connect, include a note mentioning your company page and providing a link. Um, the message should be pretty simple. So for example, you can say, hello, it's been a pleasure working with you. Uh, we would like to connect here as well. Stay up to date on what we're up to. We'd love it if you followed our company page. So something along those lines. You can also ask your team members to include a similar message when making connections on your LinkedIn page. This will all help to get the ball rolling and start to gather a following on your company page. And finally, um, the last thing is to spread the word in other channels and outlets. So now that you've built your page and engaged potential followers and current customers or contacts, take stock of your company's various modes of external communication. So emails, invoices, your website, or on a contact us form, social media pl uh, platforms, newsletters, brochures, and other correspondences. All of these should not only contain a link or URL to your company page, but should also contain a call to action encouraging the recipient to find your company on LinkedIn. So now that you've set up your company LinkedIn page, you've optimized the content on it, you've found your audience, you've engaged with current uh, and previous customers or team members, and you've went through and you've tried to spread the word on all your other uh, external modes of communication, what's next? Those steps are only beginning of your LinkedIn journey. Now that you've got your company page set up, the next step is to uh, start participating in the community. So share interesting articles, prefer, uh, preferably content you've written for a blog or your own website, um, or company updates that you feel your followers will value. Post links to an industry group page, um, engage in group discussions, answer questions, ask questions. 
Now that you've gotten in the habit, a half hour each day is more than enough time to maintain an active, healthy presence on LinkedIn. No matter the amount of LinkedIn content we produce for our clients at WebFeed Complete, we always find that the clients who get the most out of the LinkedIn profiles we create and manage are those who participate in the process themselves. After all, you are the experts in your field and ultimately your connections want to and expect to connect with you. Of course, if this is still all too overwhelming for you, we have from, uh, professionals on staff that deal with these services every day and are experts when it comes to optimizing your social profiles. So if you want to learn a bit more about LinkedIn and its importance, you can um, go to our blog and visit our LinkedIn archive um, as well as our social media pages. And also, if you have more questions about what LinkedIn can do for your small business, we'd love uh, to chat, so you can visit us on our website. That's all for today. Um, thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next one.